As promised, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize a GPS mount for the Ducati X Diablo S and set it up so that the bike powers the GPS unit and also an action camera on the handlebar. The main reason why I'm customizing the GPS mount for the bike is so that I can use my plain old cheap less than $100 Garmin Nuvi GPS unit. No, this isn't your special motorcycle GPS that generally run anywhere from $300 to $1,000. Nope, this is a plain old cheap one. It's not waterproof or nothing else special. And you know what? I've rode this bike and my other bikes in rain, snow, and everything else, and it's never failed me. And I made this mount, by the way, for free, something you can do for free. It's custom. I'll include the video link in the description and comment section of this video to show you how to make one. And what's awesome about this setup is that I can quickly and easily take this GPS unit off and I can put it on this bike, plug it in, bike powers the GPS unit. When I get back for my ride, I can get on this bike and put the GPS unit, connect it, and this bike powers the GPS unit. And a good day for me is riding all three bikes back to back to back. But hey, let's get started with this customization. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! The items you'll need to build this GPS mount, which I'm basically just taking this mount and I'm customizing it. SW Motec GPS mount specific for your bike. Like I said, I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video. Also, you're going to need the, bound, uh, the GPS bar mount. And it comes with this piece here, which is the piece that you'll need. It goes on the back of the most GPS, regular GPS units. Uh, but like I said, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. You're going to need this if you want to use this particular setup. Now, if you want to get use a regular motorcycle GPS unit, this particular unit will allow you to mount, uh, I think, what is it called? The Garmin Zumos. Um, you can mount the Garmin Zumos uh, directly to this particular mount. But I don't want to spend, you know, five, six, anywhere from three to six hundred dollars on a, a specific motorcycle GPS. Also, you're going to need you're going to need hardware, which I recommend that you get uh, a, get you a bulk set of socket head caps, uh, stainless steel, uh, the nylon uh, lock nuts, and also the stainless steel washers. It's best to have this set up because you can use it for your house, whatever. It's just good to have for future projects, like I said, for using around the house. But you're going to need to use the M512 bolt, two of those bolts, two of the M5 uh, stainless steel lock nuts, and also two of the M5 washers. Stainless steel does not rust. Other stuff needed, right angle mini USB 12 volt to 5 volt power cable, solder iron and solder, electrical tape, Dremel, I recommend wearing cut resistant gloves, and small zip ties. Links to everything I used in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, I just remove the contents out of the box here and this is basically what you get. You get the hardware, uh, you get this piece that mounts on the bike, and you get this bracket. Um, the modification that you're going to need to do is what you see here. is where I take this, uh, this bar mount here and you're basically just going to take the Dremel and you're going to grind off that piece that protrudes so that it's completely flat. And then you're just going to just drill two holes into the bracket so that you can bolt up uh, this piece here, this ball mount piece. And like I said, you're going to use the M5 uh, bolt uh, lock nut and washer. Then you mount this little piece on here and this will allow you to be able to put on a regular GPS unit like that set up there. Okay, let's finish assembling the GPS mount and then mount it on the bike. 
We'll start off by attaching the bracket with the plug-in frame using the hexagon socket screws and the teeth lock washers. Obviously, you're going to want to put the teeth lock washers on the inside of the bracket and the screws on the outside of the bracket and then tighten it up. Okay, now attach the mounting frame with the mounting bracket using the four screws provided. Next, remove the two front bolts that secure the handlebars. Be careful because the handlebars will drop. Next, take the two long bolts that came with the kit and put washers on them and then place that through the mounting bracket and then through the spacers provided. And then place the two bolts in the holes where you remove the original bolts and then tighten it up. Make note, you're going to have to adjust the handlebars while you tighten the bolts. Also, make sure to tighten each bolt equally as you tighten them. Make sure to take the original bolts and put them in a baggie and label them and then store them appropriately. By the way, if you want to get that nuts and bolts storage bin that goes on the wall, I'll include that link in the description and comment section of this video. And you just slide this in here until you hear a click. Then just easily attach the GPS to the mount. This is what it looks like in the rider position. Absolutely perfect for viewing the GPS. Now let's install the power wires so that the bike powers the GPS and camera. The Ducati X Diavo comes with a 12 volt wire that you can use specifically for navigation or USB connections. The wire is right underneath the tank in that location there. You'll have to finger it out. And then you just unbuckle the cable and now it's time to do some soldering. Just take an X-Acto knife and cautiously cut open the shrink wrapped wires to expose them. That's what it looks like when it's cut open. Because both wires are black you'll need to figure out which one's positive and which one's ground. Just plug the plug back in and then make note of the wires on the other side which are red and black. And then mark the positive wire with a piece of white tape or something. Here are the two cables we'll be using to solder to the plug. The one is a mini USB cable for the GPS. And the second one is a micro USB cable for the Sony action camera. Next you're going to have to mock it up first so you can figure out how much length you need. So plug in the cables to the devices and then route them. And then mark the piece that you need to cut off. Then just take the positive wires of the power cables and solder it to the positive wire on the power plug. Then take the negative wires of the power cables and solder it to the negative wire of the power plug. Okay, the wires are attached, routed, and zip tied. And this is what it looks like. Now let's test it out and see if it works. Let's see here. Now let's see if the camera works. Okay, it works. Works awesome. Hey guys, thought I'd go ahead and do the WR250R while I'm at it. And I'm using the case for this one, which you can also use for the X Diablo S if you want to. If you're worried about uh, your GPS getting water in it, which, like I said, I've never had a problem. But, I found a wire that I can splice into to be able to operate the GPS. Actually, when I put on the uh, fender eliminator kit and that DRC uh, tail light and turn signals actually I was left with an extra uh, stock wire here so this will not cause any problems with the bike at all by uh, tapping into this and I've already tested it and it does work uh, with the GPS here with the bike turned on so I went ahead and routed the wire through there and now it's just all about uh, Connecting the wires and soldering them together and then putting the plastics back on. So links to everything in the description and comment section of this video. I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, it's not just for these particular bikes, but you can use this method for all the different motorcycles. For those of you that want to get my gear, you know, my camel pants, my winter jacket, my high-vis helmet, my gloves, everything, uh, back protector. I always include links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of this video or go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, 
my gear, and those are links to all of my gear, my mods on my bikes, everything. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of different playlists with all of my over a thousand videos categorized into those links. And that'll help you be able to navigate through my videos. One of those playlists is how-to's. So that, that's a bunch of my how-to videos to help you guys out. So go check that out. If you get a chance, check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Book Out Moto. Hey, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. It really helps me get motivated to make more videos when you hit the thumbs up button. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.